Hello, today we're going to cover how to install the Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express Edition. The first step is that we need to go ahead and download the SQL Server uh, Express Edition. So go ahead and open up a web browser and um, log on to the Microsoft SQL Server site. And on this toolbar you'll notice that uh, on the third one is called Editions. Go ahead and select Express. Fortunately, Microsoft provides a free version of SQL Express so that you can go ahead and um, test and develop with it. Now depending on uh, the version of operating system you have, you may either pick a 32-bit or a 64-bit 64 64-bit version. Um, both versions also come uh, with tools. Uh, for instance, if you need the SQL Management uh, Studio installed as well. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and download the 2008 R2 32-bit with the database tools. Okay, so the download page appears. Go ahead and click on the Download Now button. And when prompted for the download, go ahead and right click and say Download File. Go ahead and save it. Once the file has been downloaded, go ahead and double click the file so we can start the setup process. Click on the Run button. Okay, at this point in the installation wizard, we're going to go ahead and, and choose a new installation. First thing, uh, SQL Server is going to go ahead and check to make sure you have all of the requirements. Okay, the next thing is to uh, read over the license terms and either accept or um, cancel the installation. We'll go ahead and uh, accept the terms. Click on Next. And the installation continues. Okay, if the installation has detected any problems um, on this screen, you'll be notified. Uh, for this installation, you'll notice that every all of the uh, different things that were checked have passed. Um, some things to note, for instance, if you don't have PowerShell installed, that would fail. Or if your Windows firewall is enabled, you might get a warning message. Um, if you do receive any warning or error messages, go ahead and resolve them and rerun the test. Otherwise, if you've passed all the tests, go ahead and click on Next to continue. Okay, on this screen we need to decide what we're going to go ahead and install. Um, if you're just going to be doing a basic, uh, for instance, have a basic database and, uh, and just require the management tools, um, the minimum you'll need is to have these two checkboxes installed. Okay, on this screen we have the option of changing some of the configuration um, options of SQL Server. So either we can assign a default instance name, which in this case will be called MS SQL Server, or if we want to specify a different instance name, uh, for instance SQL Express, we can do that as well. And we can change the uh, root directory where SQL Server is, is actually installed. So once you've done that, go ahead and click on Next. Alright, on this screen we have to tell SQL Server how we want the different services to run. By default we have the actual database engine service and the SQL Browser service. Uh, SQL Browser by default runs as a local system account and is disabled um, uh, using the default installation. Um, for the SQL database engine, it's generally recommended that you run this service using a dedicated account, um, but for this example we're just going to go ahead and choose a uh, local system account. Click Next. Alright, now we have to uh, decide how we want the uh, authentication mode for SQL to be. Um, for instance, uh, the default is using Windows Authentication Mode, or if you plan on connecting to SQL Server using uh, local SQL Server accounts, um, you'll have to choose Mixed Mode. Um, if you choose Mixed Mode, you'll need to enter a password for the SA account. Um, in this example we're going to go ahead and choose mix mode and I'll go ahead and type in a uh, password for the SA account. Make sure that you um, write down this password and keep it handy. Um, it's a good idea to make this password uh, complex so that it's not easy to guess. Now again, I'm choosing mixed mode so that um, we can authenticate to SQL Server either using Windows authentication methods or we can use local, locally defined SQL Server accounts. I'll go ahead and hit next. 
go ahead and uh, review this page and, and select this option if needed. If not, click Next. And SQL Server is going to uh, begin to install. Okay, if everything went well during the installation, then you should get a message that um, the installation was completed successfully. Go ahead and close the um, R2 setup. Okay, let's go ahead and launch SQL Server 2008 R2 for the first time. Uh, you'll find that the uh, shortcuts have been um, installed and in, in these, uh, been placed in the start menu. Okay, when the Connect to SQL Server uh, dialog box appears, go ahead and click on Connect. Now that we're logged in, you'll notice that your um, SQL Server instance is up and running. Um, obviously, there's no databases uh, that have been installed as of yet, but you can go ahead and start creating your databases. We're importing data. You can also click on the New, new Query button, and you'll be able to, for instance, um, write SQL uh, queries such as select, insert, into, uh, so on and so forth against the databases that you create or import. Well, that's it for this tutorial on how to install SQL 2008 R2. Thank you for watching.